We've all heard the saying, you don't really know someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. Well, what would your shoes say about you? What would mine say about me? It depends on the pair, I guess. You could ask the black shoes, the brown shoes, the old shoes for raking leaves, or the running shoes that make it look like I run. According to surveys, the average American owns 15 pairs of shoes. Think of how many stories they could tell. Now, imagine your life without shoes. Right now, there are hundreds of millions of children around the world that do not have a single pair of shoes. You'll find them in places like Africa, Asia, and Haiti. Haiti is a perfect example of how shoes save lives. There are the obvious ways having to do with sanitation. An open cut on a bare foot in filthy water can and usually does mean unimaginable sickness. But shoes mean so much more here. Recently, an eight-year-old girl was given her first pair of standard black shoes. Nothing remarkable about them. Until you realize that in many developing nations like Haiti, in order for a child to attend school, he or she must have a pair of standard black shoes. It seems so simple, yet there are so many children who don't have that luxury. With the average Haitian making less than $2 a day, people trade for what they need, whether it's crops or livestock or medicine. It's how commerce works in Haiti. And some of the most valuable goods to trade are shoes. There was the story of a woman who traded a pair of Nike running shoes for a goat because she was unable to produce milk for her newborn baby. And the goat's milk meant the difference between life and death. Shoes save lives. New shoes, used shoes, shoes that you don't wear, don't need, and don't want anymore. Imagine giving five of your 15 pairs of shoes. Then multiply that by the number of people in your house. And then get 10 friends to collect the same amount and encourage them to tell their friends. Now imagine if your church or school or civic group or club or other not-for-profit organization takes up the mantle. Before you know it, you are literally impacting the lives of thousands of the poorest people on earth. Now what if I told you that the folks at funds to orgs would pay your organization for each pound of shoes that you collect? You will be providing footwear that is desperately needed throughout the world. And in return, your organization will receive funds to continue your own mission to make the world a better place. We are funds to orgs and we need your help. We need your shoes.